After many training miles, multiple race starts, and a community reunited, we have reached the heart of the 2021 Xterra racing season. Next on tap, Xterra athletes from around the USA and further flung locals like New Zealand and South America descend on Ogden, Utah for the 2021 Xterra USA Championship. The setting for this much anticipated event is the beautiful Wasatch Mountain Range, specifically Ogden, Utah and Snow Basin Resort, site of the 2002 Olympic Downhill and Super G events. 45 minutes north of Salt Lake City, Ogden, the Pineview Reservoir and Snow Basin Resort combine for a spectacular setting for both elite athletes looking for a challenging course and age group athletes looking for a community-driven race experience with first-class ambience both on the trails and off. This is the 18th year Ogden has hosted the Exterior USA Championship of Fro Triathlon. It's a jam-packed festival weekend, with both the triathlon and the Xterra Trail Run National Championships featured alongside a great community atmosphere. Xterra really looks forward to this race all year because it's one of the most spectacular, beautiful destinations that you've ever seen. We come in the fall when the trees are turning and everything's pretty and we get great support from the local community. We have uh, volunteers that have been with us for 16 years and they come back every year like family. Not only does the community play a large role in producing the event, but long-time well-known locals like the mayor of Ogden, Mike Caldwell, participate in the race as well. Mayor Caldwell actually has a long history with Xterra. He was the race director when the first ever Xterra Utah premiered in Ogden in 2004. But prior to that, Mike was part of the 2002 Olympic Committee that oversaw the ski events in Ogden. That's how he knew Ogden was perfect for more outdoor sporting events. You know, I'm honored to have lived in Ogden in the Ogden area my whole life and uh, uh, one of the best jobs I ever had was working for the Olympic Committee when the Olympics came in 2002. And Ogden at that point was kind of a broken rail town and uh, didn't have a whole lot going on. Economically it was really struggling, it didn't have an identity and when the Olympics came in we saw just this influx of pride and place and community. When the torch came through our downtown, we had 106,000 people, they estimated, that showed up. And what we realized was that there was this sense of, that was so cool. How do we continue to build upon our brand and figure out how to get people outside and live active outdoor lifestyles and, and get involved, whether it's through volunteerism or being an athlete or something else. We wanted that inspiration to continue. As a longtime local, he went to college at Weber State University right here in Ogden. Caldwell knew he was onto something in their efforts to make Ogden an outdoor recreation hub. Utah, with its mountains, natural beauty, and a major international airport, are all reasons why outdoor adventure takes a front seat for many visitors. And Ogden's quiet, under the radar nature makes it quite the hidden gem. You can't duplicate this outdoor environment that we live in. I mean, look how pretty this is. Who does not want to be a part of something like this? Exeter is a perfect fit for us. You've got this amazing dam that's right down there. It goes up these beautiful canyons, ends at this phenomenal world-class resort. And having that water body down there and all of these mountains that end here at this amazing resort that people didn't know much about at the time, we just thought that was a perfect fit. The athletes, well, they agree. First time we came up to preview the bike course, we were just completely blown away with the colors and the fall and the trees and just like, this is freaking cool. Very cool. I love coming up here. Um, I actually came here last year, even though there was no race just to, to check it out and ride the trails up here. It's absolutely stunning this time of year, and I'm sure in the winter as well. 
But yeah, I just love the vistas you can get riding on these mountain trails, the thrill of, of these long descents, and uh, just the colors of the trees right now is, is amazing. Xterra Adventures is presented by Tea Tree, the experience. Discover the magic of Tea Tree. And by Utah, the state of sport. This segment is presented by Tea Tree, botanical infused hair care for all hair types and textures. Ogden, Utah, home of the Xterra USA Championship. It's a fan and athlete favorite year after year with the laid back nature of the field and the opportunity to let a little bit loose on the historic 25th Street in Ogden. Some of the old world charm that made Ogden a transcontinental railroad hub in the mid 1800s is still visible in 25th Street with old saloon style buildings lining the streets. Now, those streets contain art galleries, modern brew pubs and shops. This old world, down home atmosphere of Ogden bleeds into the exterior race in weekend with a laid back vibe. Nothing intimidating, just lots of friends participating together. Our mission, what we're going to accomplish is obviously, you know, large participation, uh, friendly atmosphere, um, and people walk away from our event with a really stoked, happy feeling that it was a great weekend. One of the changes this year is turning the triathlon into a duathlon due to the high levels of alga in the reservoir. But the triathlon here had to go to a duathlon because we had to cancel the swim part due to a uh, um, algal bloom in the lake, Pineview Reservoir. We were unable to swim, but so we did a run, bike, run. One of the things that has made this race unique in years past are its two staging areas. The first transition usually happens down at the shore of Pineview Reservoir after the swim. Athletes then hop on their bike and race to the base of Snow Basin Ski Resort to transition to the run up there. This year, Due to the algae Chris mentioned, the reservoir was taken out of circulation. Here in Utah, uh, climate change is really going to impact our water bodies. Our water bodies are in a state where they're, I would call them, uh, they have diabetes, uh, they're diabetic, they've got excess nutrients in them, they're very prone to becoming very enriched with the cyanobacteria and climate change on top of that is kind of fuel to that uh, scenario. Environmental stewardship is important to Xterra. So, monitoring the situation and committing to conservation standards is always part of the Xterra lifestyle. The inability to use Pineview Reservoir drives home the importance of combating climate change as an organization and that's why, at every event, we find ways to do our part. Another part of the exterior commitment and lifestyle is finding silver linings. Shifting to a duathlon allowed Chris Appleton and the race crew to get creative with the bike course and find ways to send athletes on just as much downhill fun as uphill suffering, since the bike now originated and ended at the same location. The new bike course is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> um, there's a lot of downhill. It feels really good to have mountain bike trail in this race. You know, this is a sport of mountain biking and trail running. Now we, we're getting equal descent that we do um, climbing. You know, look, I, I came from Rotorua in New Zealand. It's mountain bike is paradise, so if you're going to throw 30 minutes, you know, of descending and some technical riding in, in there, um, have at it, for sure. Sam Osborne surely has a target on his back as the defending Xterra USA champion. The season started perfectly for Osborne with victories in two largest US Xterra races thus far, Oak Mountain and Beaver Creek. That said, there will be some very strong competition as Josiah Middo, a 14-time Xterra national champion, is looking to reclaim his title. Look, I, I didn't come all the way from New Zealand and jump on jets um, just to come and race for second place. Um, 
and now with the swim being cancelled there yeah, I think it brings a whole lot of guys into the race that normally wouldn't be there from the outset. Sam Osborne came here with a clear goal uh, to win races, to win the three big majors, uh, and I really feel like I need to defend this home turf a little bit. And this is the US Championship. I've been here before. Aside from the favorites, a few other athletes are gunning for the podium as well. Everyone has a chance um, here with a new mountain bike course. There's a few rocky sections, so mechanicals may come into, into play as well. So anything really can happen. So even though I'm one of the older guys out here and you know I'm not one of the young snapping bucks that's <laughs> right at the front right from the get-go, you know, I think you know it's gonna suit my style of racing and it's gonna motivate me to, to get right in the race. This is my first race as a professional here at Xterra Ogden. Um, I'm hoping to mix it up with the top guys. I'm just excited to be here. Race against legends like Josiah and Sam Osborne. Yeah, I'm just happy to be here. The fall colors of Ogden, Utah and Snow Basin Resort set the stage for the Xterra USA Championship presented by Gatorade Endurance. The women in the elite division of the race are no strangers to the Ogden venue or podiums. Samantha Kingsford, partner of Sam Osborne and also from New Zealand, has never won this race with Leslie Patterson taking the goal the past three runnings. But just like Osborne, she's also on a winning streak this season. I think I said it in Alabama. I didn't come here to come second and third, so I'm definitely here to try and get that top spot on the podium. Um, but with the duathlon format, it's not going to be as easy as maybe the last two races. Though I want to win the national title, I also really want to win overall. Um, I've done it before. I'd like to think I can do it again. It's not going to be easy. Samantha's been really strong. Leslie, her track record here is impeccable, practically. Um, Amanda Felder has been really strong this year. Samantha's been, been winning, and I, I think for me, she's setting the standard. So if I can, if I can be at that level or exceed it, that you know, that's that would be huge. Aside from the storylines of a culmination of the season for elite athletes, there are multiple age group competitors who have been training hard, working through adversity and bonding as families as well. Michelle McCartney is relatively new to the Xterra family. She competed in her first race a few weeks ago in Victoria and is now suiting up here in Ogden. Six years ago, Michelle was diagnosed with stage 4 breast cancer and eventually used mountain biking and now Xterra races to help her manage her diagnosis. The mother of three, full-time attorney and now Xterra warrior has a never-say-quit attitude. I stayed on the medications for a solid five and a half years. Um, and at that time I was able, you know, switch my diet up and um, do a little downhill mountain biking uh, to kind of keep me going, you know, in a mental health way. But I wasn't strong enough to do a lot of endurance sports. Um, and I, at that time, I decided I just wanted to try and make a switch um, to maybe going off the chemo. The change in regimen allowed Michelle to increase her physical activity. Combined with a more sustainable, plant-based diet, she's pushing past her diagnosis and taking her adventure to a whole new level. And here it is, six months later, I started you know, really training for these Xterra triathlons and working out every day, almost every day. I have a few rest periods now and then, but um, it's been actually working really, really well. If there are two things Xterra embodies, it is a warrior spirit and a sense of community lifestyle. Michelle certainly brings her own warrior spirit to Xterra and we can't wait to be out rooting for her in this race and many more to come. I just want to be, you know, I know that going through this breast cancer and other kinds of cancer, the treatments can be really harsh and I just kind of wanted to share my story so that I could be maybe an inspiration to other folks. The Triathlon Championships wasn't the only race of the weekend here in Ogden. Under blue skies and fall foliage, 
The Xterra Trail Run National Championships took place with a wide ranging fields of hundreds of competitors from across the United States lining up. The course started at 6,400 feet and gained an additional 2,200 feet of elevation with intense climbs that put the athletes to the test. To Utah locals, Nathan Peters on the men's side and Giselle Slotbloom on the women's side took the wins with blistering times of 126.33 and 133.26 respectively. So the trail run turnout today was fabulous. We had uh, you know a few hundred people and Obviously the weather was fantastic. We love being here at Snow Basin. The trails are excellent for running on and the course is once again stellar. Still to come, the main event, the 2021 Xterra USA Off-Road Triathlon Championships. Xterra Adventures is presented by Tea Tree, the experience. Discover the magic of Tea Tree. And by Utah the state of sport. With a culmination of hard work and training for a raid troop athletes and the USA Championship on the line for the elite competitors, racing got on the way. The untraditional run-bike-run format made for an interesting start to the races. Rather than see Sam Osborne come out of the water leading pack for the men, fellow Kiwi Kieran McPherson took off on the first run climb right of the starting line. On the women's side, a similar story unfolded as race favorite Samantha Kingsford was behind Leslie Patterson after the first run leg. Kingsford did catch Patterson about a mile into the bike, but had to push past flashbacks of 2019 where she had a lead over Patterson the majority of the race, but ran out of gas and was passed by Leslie near the end to take second. Osborne was in an unfamiliar place as well. The men's race saw Josiah Middle of Colorado surge her head on the first half of the bike where the majority of the climbing was positioned. Yeah, some people are stronger on climbing and descending and after the, the early 15 to 20 minute climb there's a, a big close to 30 minute descent. The descent is a strength of the Kiwis and as it came into play both Sam and Sam had a lead going into the second transition. Samantha's was fairly sizable but Osborne had only 30 seconds on mid-off and it was up to the final run leg to determine the winner. The run course, it's like basically straight up scree field of boulders and stuff, and that's just a completely different type of running, so it's gonna be sore at the end of this one, whoever does win. In the end, it was Osborne who completed his North American sweep and took the tape by a comfortable two minutes. Kingsford, with thoughts of 2019 on her mind, never took a foot off the gas and was able to take the gold over Patterson by seven minutes. Susie Snyder came in third in the elite division and as the first American elite to cross the line, took the US Championship trophy home. Chazam Meda, with his second place overall in first American, was awarded the men's US Championships honors. What an epic battle. Um, I think it kind of lived up to everything that we spoke about before the race. Um, um, but I didn't expect the, the older boys, to, or more experienced boys, to be pulling it off. Um, I expected the college runners to kind of really light it up, but <clears throat> I guess as it turned out, the, the older guard, um, Big Joe, kind of wanted to really try and, I guess, put some damage into the legs early on. Just super stoked to, to take the win. Yeah, I couldn't have asked for a better season or a better race today. <coughs> Absolutely stoked to take the win. Um, but yeah, that mountain bike course is an absolute amazing course. Had so much fun riding it. I'm absolutely stoked to come home with the win and to redeem myself from 2019. The elite competition always brings the action, but community and family lifestyle is also a large part of what makes Xterra special. And we found that in the Stacy family from Nashville, Tennessee. Dad, Pat, 
along with 15-year-old son AJ and 19-year-old son Will, are all taken to the start line for the full distance off-road triathlon here in Utah. Mom, Heather, and dog, Bear, will be cheering from the finish line. I'm about to compete in the USA uh, Championships in Xterra, and uh, I'm here with my family, with my brother, and my dad, and my mom. Coming to, coming to races, especially these Xterra races, are, is, is super special for us as a family. In, in, a, in an environment like this, and, and having my family here all healthy and, and active, and it just means a lot to me. It means everything. Um, and I love, uh, we just, we love the active lifestyle and, and uh, Xterra delivers it for us. That really is one of my favorite parts about Xterra, to be able to travel to these beautiful locations. Um, you know, the, the way Xterra puts on races all over the world and all over the nation. All three racing members of the Stacy family have already qualified for the World Championships in Maui. The U.S. National Championships were a smashing success in beautiful Ogden, Utah. Join us next time as we head back across the water to the brand new competition location of Trentino, Italy, where the European Cross Triathlon Championships and Xterra have teamed up to bring you a unique and exciting race that will see athletes representing their home countries, as well as competing for elite division prize money, all while gearing up for the culmination of the Xterra season, the World Championships in Maui, Hawaii. Thank you.